So Janine, for the benefit of the listeners and the viewers, can you explain what would be your advice on how people should react or respond to these coming future events? Is it simply a matter of run to the hills, uh, ditch everything you own and live off grid? What, what, what is the method for, for dealing with, or as the case may be, surviving yeah. What, what's on the horizon? Exactly. Okay, this is a question everybody's starting to face because um, Biden is talking about nuclear Armageddon, which is what he's announced. And there's a lot of people out there, um, the IPCC actually, people are reporting on that and saying, we're looking at the end of civilization. We're looking at a point where people won't be able to survive. So survival is number one. Survival is number one. And to survive your very first priority in any situation if you do first aid you'll learn the very most important thing is location say for example you come across a car accident which i have i've got a very perfect example of this i came across a car accident on a hairpin bend with a um, semi-trailer and a car had gone under the semi-trailer i won't go into any details because it's quite graphic but i was the first person on the scene and what I saw with my eyes didn't make any sense and it took me a while for my brain to figure out what I was looking at because there was smoke, there was fire, there was stuff everywhere. I didn't know what I was looking at um, but it, once I figured it out it became apparent to me um, that this was a very highly dangerous situation and cars were coming down one side of the hairpin and cars were coming up the other side and around a corner and there was only this very narrow strip of road where the accident happened about 20 meters and I realized that this was all about location location you know we had to I had to figure out a way to um, to help stop more accidents with cars coming around and, and slamming into the vehicles that were already there so I went down one end and began warning all the cars that were coming and they stopped and then they went up the other end so what I'm trying to say I know I've gone into a bit of detail but what I'm trying to say is in any emergency situation the first uh, the first priority is location so if you study first aid you the very first thing step that you take is securing this the situation making sure that everybody's safe and that they are or they get to a safe location so that's what this is all about jesus um in matthew 24 as i've shared before when the disciples said what will be the sign of your coming and of the destruction of jerusalem which today represents the cities of the world jesus said when you see the sign of the abomination of desolation or the roman soldiers surrounding jerusalem then relocate urgently right so get to a safe location because once the roman soldiers appear on the scene they've got you know a thousand different innovative ways of destroying everything and and killing people so relocate and she said do it urgently so we find in Micah chapter 4 verse 1 and we also find in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 1 that in it says in the very last days God's kingdom is going to be established in the tops of the mountains so this is how it happens it happens at this point here God's kingdom in other words, his kingdom of safety and love, his law of freedom, um, that is going to be established in the mountains. So I hope that answers that, um, that question for you, Robert. And I'd probably like to focus a little bit more on this um, call to relocate to the mountains. So there's many other passages um, in the Bible that, that refer to that and one of them says gather together before the decree. So gather together before the laws go into place that are going to make you unsafe and relocate and flee, flee to the mountains. So okay so you've asked the question what do we do? Do we just um, um, you know do we 
put an end to everything and do we just go and hide out in the bush? Absolutely not. We don't just sort of run to the hills and go barefoot and, and um, live in the bush. No, the idea is, is that we buy properties up in the mountains or we gather together, people sell their homes in the cities and buy properties, um, properties that have water, properties um, that are in the mountains, they need to be up high, you need the um, elevation because there are going to be attacks on the cities. There's going to be attacks that will cause tsunamis and so you need to have that elevation, that's very important. And you need to look at creating a, um, a self-sufficient lifestyle where you're not dependent on the system that is being taken over and has been weaponized. So the idea is you can still continue to live your life. So we've done this um, sort of from 2020, we moved to the mountains and we're still continuing life as normal, but we've got a safe base. So it's a little bit like um, somebody's drowning out in the ocean. You don't go out there in the ocean with them and drown. To get them to safety, you stand on a rock and you throw out the lifeline. So that's what this is all about. You're standing on the rock, getting to the mountains, get yourself safe, grow your own food, set everything up off grid if you need to. Make sure you've got your own water and um, make sure you've got everything that you need, fuel or whatever it is that you need, um, or your gardening equipment, so that you can ride out the storm and you don't need to be dependent on anything. So the attacks may come and go, but you won't be affected. So, so that's the idea. It's all about empowerment. This is not um, a disempowering alarmism. It is all about empowering people to survive.